Welcome to our educational video on epilepsy. Epilepsy is a neurological condition affecting millions worldwide, characterized by recurrent seizures. Today, we'll explore what epilepsy is, why it happens, how it's diagnosed and treated, and how to help someone during a seizure. Whether you know someone with epilepsy or just want to learn more, this video will equip you with essential knowledge to understand and support those affected. What is epilepsy and its causes? Epilepsy is a chronic disorder where sudden bursts of electrical activity in the brain cause seizures. A seizure is like an electrical storm in the brain, disrupting normal function. Not everyone who has a seizure has epilepsy. In many cases, the cause is unknown. Epilepsy is diagnosed after two or more unprovoked seizures. Causes vary. Some people develop epilepsy due to genetics, brain injuries, infections like meningitis, strokes, or brain tumors. The two main types are focal seizures, which start in one part of the brain, and generalized seizures, which affect both sides. Seizures come in many forms. Generalized seizures include tonoclonic seizures, where a person may collapse, convulse, and lose consciousness, or absent seizures, causing brief staring spells. Focal seizures might cause unusual sensations, twitching, or confusion. Symptoms depend on the seizure type and can include muscle spasms, confusion, or loss of awareness. Diagnosing epilepsy starts with a medical history and witness accounts of seizures. Doctors use tests like an EEG, which measures brain electrical activity, or imaging scans like MRI or CT to look for brain abnormalities. Blood tests may rule out other causes like low blood sugar. For a tonoclonic seizure, stay calm and time the seizure. Accurate diagnosis is crucial to tailor treatment and manage seizures effectively. Epilepsy is often managed with anti-seizure medications, which controls seizures in about 70% of people. Medications like lavatrucidum or lamotrigine are prescribed based on seizure type and patient needs. For those who don't respond to drugs, options include brain surgery, vagus nerve stimulation, or a ketogenic diet. Lifestyle changes, like getting enough sleep and avoiding triggers like flashing lights, also help. Emotional support is key friends and family can reduce stigma by learning about epilepsy. Knowing how to help during a seizure is vital. Move objects away to prevent injury, place something soft under their head, and turn them onto their side to keep the airway clear. Put anything in their mouth or restrain them. Learn about its causes, symptoms, treatments, and how to provide first aid. Together, we can create a more understanding world. If the seizure lasts over five minutes or they don't recover, call emergency services. For other seizures, like absent seizures, gently guide the person to safety and stay with them. People with epilepsy can lead full active lives with proper management. Support includes regular doctor visits, adhering to medication schedules, and identifying triggers. Safety measures, like avoiding swimming alone or using seizure alert devices, help maintain independence. Now it's time for your mind test. Let's see how sharp your brain really is. Answer in the comment question 1A. 16-year-old girl is brought to the clinic by her parents due to frequent staring spells in class. During these episodes, she stops talking mid-sentence and appears unaware for about 10 seconds. She resumes activity without confusion. EEG shows 3HZ spike hand wave discharges. What is the most likely diagnosis? Focal seizure with impaired awareness? B. Absence seizure C. Tonoclonic seizure? Correct answer, B. Absence, seizure, 3J, spike hand wave on IG, is classic. Most common in children and often mistaken for daydreaming. Absence seizures are brief, sudden lapses in consciousness without postectal confusion. Question two, a 10-year-old child is diagnosed with absence epilepsy. Which of the following medications is first-line treatment? A. Carbamazepine, B. Phenytoin, C. Ethosuximide. Correct answer, C. Ethosuximide. Ethosuximide is the drug of choice for absent seizures. It works by blocking thalamic T-type calcium channels. Valproic acid is an alternative if there are multiple seizure types. Question 3. 30-year-old man with a history of 4-phenytoin, is used second line to prevent recurrence. Epilepsy is brought to the ER 
having continuous generalized tonic-clonic seizures for over five minutes without regaining consciousness. For access is obtained. A. What is the most appropriate initial treatment? A 4-phenytoin B for lorisepam, C for valproic acid. Correct answer. B for lorisepam. Benzodiazepines are first line for status epilepticus. Due to their rapid onset and ability to enhance GABA action, epilepsy is a manageable condition with the right knowledge and support. Share this information to raise awareness and reduce stigma. Visit organizations like the Epilepsy Foundation for more resources. Consider supporting epilepsy research or local support groups. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Dr. DC Online for more trusted medical insights. Got questions or personal experiences to share? Drop them in the comments. We'd love to hear from you and create a space for informed discussion. And if you're preparing for medical exams like USMLE or PLAB or just want reliable health education, this is the place for you. Stay curious, stay informed, and as always, stay healthy. I'm Dr. DC, and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care.